when you compare this app with the demo version there are a few things left and one of them is the background image okay so this is the demo app you can see we have a background image here and we also have this version display button if you click on that it will give you a model and in the model we have the system information displayed in it all right so this is what we want to implement in this video if you're not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this i'm inviting you to subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss our future videos so as usual all the steps are right here on the blog side and it is video number 35 of stock management information system so i'm going to close the demo app and then start coding this so the first step is to add the background image okay so we're gonna copy the image in our img folder all right so if you switch over to sublime inside the static folder you have the css you have img and js so inside img is where you're gonna copy the bg file and if i click on it that's the background that we're gonna use so if you want to use the same image i'm gonna put the link in the description below all right so i'm gonna download that we've already done the download so we're gonna use this code in the body css okay so i'm gonna copy that and then paste it in style.css right here in the body i'm gonna paste it right here so we're gonna have background image url so we're gonna move back one step and then go into img folder then we're gonna have this bg.jpg file all right so since we are in the css folder this starts the css is right here in css folder so you're gonna move out one folder and then go into img then you're gonna have bg.jpg so that's what we are doing here move back one step go into img and then bg.jpg so if i save this and then refresh the application i'm gonna click refresh right so you have it right there if it doesn't work click control or select control on the keyboard and click refresh so that will give you the background color so just by doing that you have the application looking so much better so the next step is to add the version button up here all right so that's what i'm going to do next so if i scroll down i have that html code right here so i'm going to copy it And then paste it in the nav bar all right so we want this button to appear on all the pages of the application i want if i'm on the home page i should be able to see that button right here so the nav bar have that feature already so i'm going to paste it in navbar.html template so right below the nav bar i'm going to paste it right here we're going to have a div right here and in the div we're going to have the name of the application and the version we're going to make it a clickable link so if i save it and then head over here do refresh you can see we have it right there so we have to have the css going to style it so if i switch over here you can see we have the model d but before i explain that i'm gonna style this id so we have version display as the name of the id for this d okay so i'm gonna head over to the blog side and copy the css part and that is the false part right here version button so i'm going to copy this and paste it in the style.css i'm going to scroll all the way down paste it right here save it and refresh great so we have the css and the style is applied on the div all right so we've given it the background color of this reddish color and the text is white shadow and then the rest of the styling is right here that's what we are having right here okay so but you can choose your own style and design now we want to be able to click on this button and have more information about the app and that will be displayed in a modal format all right so to do the modal we already have the html code okay so if i switch over here on the navbar.html that's the modal code right here so the model is triggered by clicking on something okay so that's the clickable link right here so you're gonna have a hash symbol here that means even if you click on this button you're not navigating to 
any other page okay so we're gonna have a data target as my model right so what this one will do is if you click on this button it's gonna look for something that has an ID of my model and that's what we have in this thief okay so this thief right here is having an ID of my model so by clicking this link gonna trigger this div okay and this div is already styled as a model or a dialog box okay and that is all taken care of by the bootstrap that we have in our application and if you don't see that i'm gonna link that video you can check the upper right corner of this video or in the description below all right so we're gonna have a class called model dialog box and then in that model dialog box we're gonna have the modal content right here okay so in the content we're gonna divide it into two sections one of them will be the modal header and then the modal body okay so in the header we're gonna have system information and then in the body we have the detail information including our contact details and the logo of the developer all right so if I save it Oh, that is already saved so what we need to do next is to apply the CSS code so that's what we're gonna copy next and if you head over here if you scroll down the model header model body model content and then the dev info that is the styling of how text is gonna look inside the model content all right so that's the styling right here for the logo so I'm gonna copy from model header yeah, from model header and then paste it in the stylesheet.css. I'm gonna paste it right here, save it, and then refresh the app. Let's check if it's gonna work. If I click it, all right, so let's try to debug this. So this happens quite often. Most of the time it's about a JavaScript that causes this to fail, okay? So I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift and I if you're on Chrome or what I can do is to click here and then go to more tools and developer tools so right here you can see we have few errors all right so this is not necessary but we need to fix this huh? the bootstrap.bundle.bin.js failed to load resources so this needs to be fixed so if I check in this template we need to find this and make sure it is loaded all right so I'm gonna move over to that template it's called a, the stock details template so I'm gonna check it right here we notice that we have the style sheet that CSS the bootstrap mean that CSS but the bootstrap bundle that mean that JS is not loaded the jQuery is not loaded and our my js file but this is not really necessary so what i'm gonna do is i already have it in one of the templates so i'm gonna copy it right from there so that is the jquery um ui so if you don't have this code please check on our jquery ui video i'm gonna link that to in the description or in the cat that will show right in the upper corner of this video so I'm gonna copy all this content from here all the way down here and paste it in stock detail page I'm gonna replace this and then indent that save it and then try again all right so that error is gone we have um, another error right here but this is about getting the document for this that is not necessary all right so we should have this working if I click this you can see the model is displayed so I'm gonna close out that and then test it again all right so we have the model okay so we want to make sure this is clickable okay we want if the users click on our logo it will take us to our website so I'm gonna head over to the nav bar that's where we have the code so that is the logo right here so I'm gonna wrap it in an anchor I'm gonna go to HTTP colon www.com alright so I'm gonna close it right below here okay so we're gonna save it and then 
refresh try it again okay so that's working but it is opening in this window i don't want that to happen so i'm gonna target it to a different tab so we are target underscore blank so that will make it open in a different tab okay so i'm gonna refresh again click the version information button and then click the icon right so you can see that it's going to our website so i'm gonna close that out so that is how you add the model and the background onto this application so if you check around let's check the home button or the home page and see if it's gonna work right it's working here so i'm gonna press ctrl refresh click it again and see that it's working i'm gonna go to less history and then make sure it's working right here ctrl refresh click it so it is working right here you can check around if some of them are not working it might be because of that javascript error that we just fixed so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button and if you're not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this i'm inviting you to subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss our future videos thank you and see you in the next video